We've been living through a biomedical revolution in the last two decades for anyone who works in the cancer field or indeed in the genetics of disease. Our understanding has been completely transformed. One in two Canadians or their families will be affected by cancer during their lifetime. It's a common disease. The progress that we've made with cancer research really surprised me with immunotherapy and this conference sort of gave me hope that we we're able to sort of discover new things and able to develop our technology even further. But people say, you know, what did we learn from the last 15, 20 years of large-scale cancer genomics? And the answer is an awful lot. In diagnostics and treatment, we know that there are cancer drugs that are designed to be mutation-specific that are already in use. So these are products from the genome projects that have already made their way into therapeutics. I thought it was really inspiring seeing like the technological and like the breakthroughs that we've really had over the years and just how much we have yet to learn. It really inspires and promotes us young leaders to like take that initiative and to maybe focus on that in the future and prosper in that subject. There are new technologies for editing and rewriting genomes that are leading to therapeutics. CAR T cells are already in use. There are more surely coming. I've been attending the Don Ricks keynotes uh, since 2015. Genome BC has been a good avenue. I'm a geneticist by training, so of course, all of the keynotes that we've seen, including tonight's, have been wonderful. I just want to part with fundamental discovery in science. It's the engine of progress in medicine, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise.